Hi guys, I'm David with Media Unlocked, and today I've got another review coming at you from Think Tank. They were nice enough to send me out some uh, two new products that I wanted to try out, one of them being the App House 10, which is a tablet uh, bag. Um, we're gonna dive deeper into this and explain a little bit more about it here in a second. And then their uh, Pro Speed Belt V2. Uh, this is a, I think, a medium, a medium and large belt right here. And the reason that I'm doing two product reviews, I don't always do two product reviews, I'm doing uh, Think Tank, I usually do one at a time, is because I really feel like, even though these are two separate products, I really feel like that they go really hand in hand and well together. And we'll kind of dive into that here in a minute. Um, so the reason that I hit up Think Tank and asked them to send me out the belt and the App House 10 bag is because I was recently at a cheerleading competition. Um, during that cheerleading competition, I was mostly using a fly cam system. Um, so I had a pool, full body vest on, um, made by Covacam, and, uh, and then their fly, their fly cam. So that's a little bit heavy and I don't want to really carry a backpack. Um, by the way, if you are interested in checking out a review of that product, um, we'll put a link right over here um, so that you guys can check that out. So back to the cheerleading competition to kind of explain why I needed these, these items. So with the full body vest on, I really didn't have any other ways of holding equipment. I always had to go back to where my staging area was with my equipment to grab more batteries, cards, stuff like that, what couldn't fit in my pockets. Um, putting on a backpack or, or even another larger bag around my waist just would have thrown things off. So I needed something small. Well, Think Tank recently came out with this App House 10. And I was thinking this would be a perfect product, at least for me, other people, you know, I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what else it can do. Uh, but at least for me, being able to put in some basic uh, audio equipment like a wireless lav set, um, as well as like my Tascam DR40, um, which is, you know, a field recorder, uh, batteries, mics, uh, real basic stuff that I could attach right to my belt and I'd be able to walk around and even though I've got my full body vest on, I'd be able to get whatever I needed to. As well, if I did need a tablet, this thing is perfect, especially for like an iPad. So, uh, so that's, that's one of the main reasons why I wanted it is because I wanted to have a small pouch that's still large enough to put quite a few things in it um, that I could attach to my body while using the vest system. So this is actually a really cool little setup. I actually took it hiking with me the other day just for the heck of it to try it out. And the reason I asked Think Tank to send me out the belt is that I do find the App House 10 works a little bit better if you have a belt. The really cool thing about the App House 10, um, and I'm sure I haven't, ha haven't really used many of Think Tank's smaller bag products, but I'm guessing a lot of them have a similar setup to where it has an actual plastic piece built into the back right here. Um, and what that does is there's these little loops that the plastic piece can connect into all over the back, or all over the belt. Um, not including that the belt is really kind of a, a thicker, comfortable belt, so um, it's not, it's, it's stern, it's, it's hard, but at the same time it does, it does give a little bit. Um, and so it makes it something that would be comfortable to wear all day. As well, you've got, um, they've done, a, of course, as always, they've done an excellent job in their buckle system, you know, they're, it's going to hold up. I mean, everything Think Tank does, and they don't pay me to say this, um, they just send me out products to review. Everything they do is just so high quality um, so far in my experience with them, and I've done, I don't know, maybe 10 different reviews of different products they have. Um, so I really stand behind their product. Um, so the belt's, the belt's a really, really nice system, and, uh, and it goes well. I mean, it can be used with other photography products outside of Think Tank, but of course, it's going to work better with the Think Tank products. So inside this bag, um, we have quite a few different pockets and pouches. You know, they always figure out a way to put as many pockets and pouches as they can in their bags. And this isn't a huge bag. So we'll start off with kind of explaining that there's three different ways to really hold the bag. Um, you have a handle right here at the top where you can just kind of hold it like this. Um, you can connect it to your belt in the back. Um, so if you have just a regular belt, you can connect it here. Now this is the only complaint that I have with this product so far is that I do feel like this is a whittle, a, a whittle, a little wider than I would like it to be. So when you put it on your belt, um, it takes up a huge, huge part of the belt system. So I mean, it would literally take up that and I would not have much room to go back and forth here. Um, so I, I'm not a huge fan of that, but with this belt system on, you know, these have these little loops in it. Uh, and it connects to it really well. So it is, that's like I said, the only, the only thing I'm really you know, kind of against or did not like about the system, which really to me is by far not a deal breaker, just something I've noticed. Uh, and then you have, that comes with a, 
a shoulder piece that connects to, you have these two little pieces up here at the top, and you connect this strap to that, and you could just hang it on your shoulder. Um, kind, of, kind of like uh, just, just something that you would take out, kind of like a briefcase or something like that, laptop case, you know, if you're just, if you're a person that does a lot of tablet stuff, you just throw your tablet stuff, you know, your, your charger, your tablet, um, other small things, maybe a small notebook, you can throw it, over, throw it over your shoulder and just let it hang there. And so it would be great to use throughout the day. So this is not something that necessarily has to be used when you're doing a photography project. So, um, so anyway, so let's kind of just go through all of the different pouches and pockets that this has on it. Uh, right here in the front, you've got a nice little pocket or pouch where you could throw some batteries or anything that you want to be able to access really quick but nothing too big that could fall out or something that could fall out, you know. So, you know, if you're working and you know you're going to need batteries and, and cards really quick and you don't want to unzip anything, boom, right there, you're pulling out what you need right there. You don't want to fill it too much because and it doesn't secure at the top, so you don't want anything falling out while you're working. Or if you're going to be doing any kind of fast moving, then, you know, you want to be keeping an eye on those type of smaller loose items. Now, you do have a nice little zipper right here at the top, which is actually what I've been using this zipper piece for is, uh, the wired lob that I'm, I'm using right now, um, I just pull it right up here in this, in this top pouch, and, uh, and it works really well. But, I mean, you could probably fit, I would guess, let's see here, four uh, 5D Mark II batteries or maybe as many as five, you know, Rebel Series batteries. Um, so, on average, anywhere from three to five batteries you could fit right up here or just a handful of SD or CF cards or other, other items. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have ever seen my review on the really cheap follow focus. We'll, we'll pop a video up for that if you guys want to see. this. It's a jar opener and it's really cool. Um, there's a video for that. The follow focus will fit right up here. As well, you can put cleaning, cleaning material up here. So if you're going to be in a dirty situation where you're going to be shooting and you need to be able to get to some type of cleaning supplies fast so you can keep your lens clean and all that. So that's really nice. So those are the two main pockets right there. And of course, Think Tank does this with every single bag, and it just I just love it. They throw in a raincoat. So every bag they have, if it starts to rain, you're outside, you're good to go. Just throw this on. Your stuff's going to stay dry and not get ruined. Um, a lot of other companies out there don't offer that, um, but Think Tank pretty much puts it in, in every bag that they, uh, they make. So we're going to go on and zip it open here, and we're going to pull it out. So we have a few pockets inside the actual bag. Uh, so this, this, main, this main pocket right here on the back where you'd be hooking it to your hip is where I would probably put your iPad or tablet. I've, I've usually put my Nexus 7. We'll grab it actually. So there, here's my Nexus 7 um, and we can slide the Nexus 7 right in there and it could have a case on it. I actually have a case with the keyboard and all that and that will fit right in there very comfortably. Um, with the Nexus 7 it has a little extra room. I could probably put three Nexus 7s on top of each other in that, in that pocket. So if you do have an iPad with a fairly thin case, maybe even a little bit thickness to it, uh, it should fit right into this compartment quite comfortably. Um, so we also have a little mesh pouch in here where you can put, again, any number of things, cards, batteries, pins. Um, of course, you do have, and they do this, and Think Tank does this with its, uh, every, other, every bag they do. They put in a little, little place to put in magic markers, and pins, stuff like that. Um, the mesh could also be a smaller notebook, handful of different, different items that you could throw in there. And then you have a pocket right up here at the top, as you can see. And, uh, and again, you could throw all kinds of stuff like that. And this pocket is kind of made out of the, uh, it's kind of like a plastic feel to it. Uh, it is plasticky. And uh, so anything that you may want to take extra precaution um, that's smaller in keeping it dry or anything like that on top of the rain jacket, uh, this would be a nice little pocket. And then you just have your main compartment right here where you could throw whatever you need to throw there in your main compartment. So you've got quite a few different pockets in the uh, App House 10 to pick from and use it in any way you want to. For me, I find it would be most usable to use it in a situation where I need to access uh, equipment, smaller equipment, due to the fact that I have uh, something else on and I can't get to a backpack and I need fast access to stuff. This is going to be a great way to access uh, my equipment really quick, uh, batteries, cards, mics, uh, you could probably even toss in a couple lenses if you wanted to. You would want to be careful, of course, but you could probably get a couple lenses in there as well as you, if you wanted to or needed to. 
Um, another, re another thing I've been using, I've gotten into time-lapse photography quite a bit, and uh, you have the DSLR dashboard that goes through the tablet, the Nexus 7, that controls the camera, so you don't have to actually be touching the camera while you're doing the time-lapse. And so I have kind of a time-lapse setup that I use, and I'm able to fit all my time-lapse equipment uh, minus the tripod, uh, the lens, and the camera. Most everything else I need is going to be able to fit in here. So I need a camera, tripod, and in this pouch, and my time-lapse stuff. Um, I've got it all, so I can go wherever I need to do, set it up, and go for it. Uh, and we'll come back to the, uh, to the belt here. Uh, just kind of reasserting what I kind of said earlier. It has a great buckle system. Um, as always, Think Tank does a really good job with being able to adjust stuff. Uh, one thing that I find very frustrating about com some companies out there is you want to adjust a bag or you want to adjust a belt or something like that. And you have to spend all this time like pulling out that, that daggum strap stuff and then pulling it in. Well, you know, with, with Think Tank, they just do a really good job of just making it really easy to, to adjust the, the size of the belt to your hip. Um, again, you want to make sure you get the right size. I got the medium large. Um, I actually, when I talked to the representative from Think Tank, I was like, I didn't know what size to get. And I just told him, you know, I need a 34 size belt and this is the one he sent out to me. Very comfortable. Um, I've had to wear this belt for up to an hour and a half one time when I was hiking um, since I've had it and I had no issues with it. Then again it wasn't bogged down with a bunch of equipment. So uh, you know you could attach multiple things to this especially if you're ordering through Think Tank. As you can see you've got those little loops and they can attach stuff or you can just put stuff over top of it. I have a few other smaller bags like uh, I'm going to be doing a review of, a, of another piece of equipment uh, which is just a literally just a camera. You just put your camera right into the bag and that fits right on this belt so I could have you know a whole body set to set to my side. So this is my review of the Think Tank App House 10. Uh, if this is something that you guys might be interested in of course as always link down below guys go check that out. And of course, we have the, uh, the Pro Speed Belt here, um, and we'll add a link to it as well. Um, also, if you guys do order through those links, it does help me out. Um, it is not cheap to, uh, to run all this stuff. Even though I do have companies that hook me up with stuff, it still does cost me money for studio space and other things like that. So hitting on those links would help me out quite a bit. Anyways, you guys have a great day. Check us out on Twitter at Media Unlocked. Facebook at David D. Images, and of course we have our blog uh, at MediaUnlock.net full of information, and of course there will be write-ups of both products uh, when this is launched. So all that information is going to be down below. You can click, you can check me out as well. We're on Skype, so if you ever want to hit me up on Skype and you need to talk to me about something, you know I do my best to be out there to help you guys out. Till next time guys, have a good one.